All right, here with four-star linebacker Gavin Nix. Gavin, uh, you finally got back over here at FSU. What was the what was this visit like? Uh, just talk about your impression. Mm -hmm. uh, it was great. Uh, you know, um, it's been a little minute since I've been back, so I wanted to come back and see everything. And um, you know, catch up with all the guys and uh, you know, Coach Norvell, Coach Fuller, they've been down to see me at school. So, uh, you know, it was a big focal point of me coming back up and seeing everything. What did you want to come up here and talk to them about, learn about the program, maybe that you haven't gotten on prior visits here? Um, the main thing was the school, you know, certain things I want to uh, major in. I've been here a few times, so I know the, pretty much the ins and outs of things. The last thing I want to do is come back in the spring, um, see a practice, you know, uh, see how they really operate, you know, see the real everything. That's the last thing that I haven't been able to see in recent times. So that's uh, the last step moving forward in this. Have you locked in a date for coming back in the spring? Uh, no, sir. Once um, uh, down at school, once we get our dates, I'll be able to uh, set everything up. What did you kind of learn just about being around Randy today? What kind of things did he talk about, Coach Shannon? Yeah, man, he's a uh, he's really wise, and you know what he what he does. He's a big teacher of the game, and um, today we went over like uh, giveaways, you know, that offenses can give you. Um, we went over a little bit of what they do um, in their scheme, and um, it's great things. You know, it's really a system that allows that linebackers to excel. So that's one thing that attracts me a lot. But um, um, like I say, man, he's really smart and he really teaches his guys some great things. So I learned a lot from him today. You get to spend some time with Coach Norvell? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Spend about uh, probably um, uh, 15, 20 minutes with Coach Norvell. Pretty good meeting. What stands out about him to you as a head coach? Um, really his energy, man. Um, uh, the biggest thing I'd probably say is, you know, he's he's a man of his word. You know, uh, you know, like I said, I've been here a few times. And uh, two years ago when I first came, um, he uh, he made a promise to me that you know he's taking his uh, program in a in a great direction, and uh, we was able to regroup today. And he he told me you know he's a man of his word and he wasn't lying. He's doing great things with this program, man. And um, I love that. And you know to go back on what I said about the energy, you know it all flows throughout his whole staff. Um, and uh, you don't see that a lot with head coaches. And I think that's what really makes him stand out. Would having a multi-year relationship with this place and seeing the ways evolved under his guidance. What does that mean to you? I mean, as a kid that's trying to figure out where you want to go next, where you want to continue your college career, what is it like kind of seeing what he said and then what it became? Uh, that's everything, you know, because uh, now uh, stability is rare in the game. You know, it's a whole lot of moving pieces. And um, I want to go somewhere where I'm going to be under the guys who recruited me. So, um, you know, seeing what he's done here and seeing the tra trajectory that he's taking, you know, his guys and this program on, you know, that's, that's, that's a great thing. That's huge. And um, like I said, stability is everything. So that's one, one thing that Florida State has. And I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Gavin, yeah, you watched him on the field, obviously, in games. And then you got to sit down with uh, Coach Shannon about film. And just get, how do you fit into the, I mean, their linebacker group? Just how, how does your skills fit in this program? Um, really, I'm big on versatility. So, um, you know, nowadays, and linebackers, you know, we're actually do a lot. And um, the, the thing that I see me fitting smoothly in is uh, – Coach Shannon asks his linebackers to do, it, to do everything. You know, I think that's real. That's really good because you know when, when when it's time for guys to go to the league, you know, you get to display your um, all your attributes on all different type of levels in space, in the box, um, rushing the passer, all different types of things. And um, if you watch their backers, they play all over the place. So that's one thing that I love. And um, if you watch me, I play all over the place. So yeah. that's that's my smooth transition as far as coming in and playing in this game. Are you at the point in your recruitment where you're down to a few schools where you kind of narrowed your view of what you're looking at? Um, not not yet. Um, coming up on the spring, that's when we'll get into that. And um, I'm looking forward on making a decision before my senior season. So um, uh, come springtime, we'll get on the drawing board, narrow, narrow things down. And then uh, right before the season, you know, after the OBs and all that, I'll uh, be making a decision. Is this a place that has lasting power with you, though? And if so, why is that? Oh, yeah, it most definitely does. Like I said, uh, one thing that, that I love is the stability and the trajectory that um, Coach Norville is on. You know, like I say, I want to be – I want to come in and, and um, play, play. I mean, play under guys that that's recruited me, and um, that's true to their word, you know. And Coach Norville, he's came in there and did that every step of the way. Not only me, to but to the fans, to, to this program, and you know everything that he has to offer. Man, he he, he didn't lie about none of that. So that was definitely a, a top contender for sure. Is there anything about Florida State that makes it unique compared to other schools you're looking at? Um, the one of the things I like was um. You know, I talked about seeing school, and so I learned a lot about, you know, the school and different programs they have. They have a program called the Life Program, and, um, uh, you know, things like that attracts me because, you know, uh, football, it's a big thing, and, you know, that's why I'm here today, but it's not everything. You know, the ball can go flat any day, and um, the Life Program is something that helps their uh, student athletes really excel um, outside of the football football field. So what I'm are you looking at majoring in? You, met, you, met, sorry, you mentioned it before. Like, um, 
I want to major in communications. I want to be a sports analyst, but I was actually looking into the business school because there's a few things that I want to do, and um, they're top top of the top top of the class in both of those things. So that's that's really good. Florida State's really a school that's kind of upped its academic game, especially in terms of the football team. Is that something that you're looking at uh, with recruitment? Obviously, you're big on the academic side of it as well. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Like uh, while they were going over the academic um, things that they've done this year, this is like. Um, one of their best years academically in program history, so that's good. Like, like I say, I say Norvell's doing great things on the on, on the football field, but the way like him being here, his impact on the field and off the field, man, is tremendous. So that's great, man. He um, he most definitely has the program excelling on, on all levels, so that's huge. Lastly, for me, Gavin, uh, obviously the big decision uh, a while back, or a few weeks ago, was Coach Norvell staying with FSU. What did that mean to you when you when you heard that? Yeah, he was. Wanting to stay at FSU, could have taken a really good job at Alabama, but what did that mean to you as a, as a recruit? Um, it meant everything, you know. Like I was talking about uh, stability, you know. Uh, it obviously means a lot to, for him to uh, turn down an opportunity like the one that he had, and um, for him to for him to uh, do that 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 speaks a uh, very great volume, you know. And um, like I said, with stability, you know, he obviously uh, you know had his contract extended, and that's that's huge with me, you know. So coming into a place like this, I know I'm gonna be under him. And, you know, I'm uh, really attracted to what he does. So that, that was huge, you know, making that decision.